Rods Customs. We got a little special treat for you today. We finally got the Bel Air on the road. We're going to take it out for a little test drive. We've uh, drove it only a couple miles so far, so anything could happen right now. Uh, we're going to try it out. We got it tuned in. Carl, our friend at CJ Tunes, tuned us in for a real mild uh, tune, and we're just going to start at 10 pounds boost, work our way up from there. We're just going to take it out for a test drive, put some miles on it, and uh, we also have another special little treat for you. Got a friend of mine with me, uh, this is John Wheeler right here, and he has got a Sunbeam that he built, and uh, it's a really, really cool car. And uh, let's just go take a little walkthrough about it, and you guys uh, can check this thing out and see how cool this thing really is. Yes! Oh my God! It's a 61 Sunbeam. Uh, we widened it six inches. I made pretty much all this down here. The trim, the bezels, the front end got lengthened three inches. So, long age, we made a lot of stuff. We had to make the door handle. Made the entire dash, did all the wood. Made the full console, made that too. Got some tuning stuff from here to play with. Boost controller, ECU, air fuel gauge. You can change the fuel air ratio on the fly. Nitrous controller stuff. Um, it accepts the iPhone, which is kind of cool. There's uh, so many things that have been made on this car. I had to make the tail lights because I didn't like the other ones. Made the bezels. I had to make a mold to make the tail lights. These are from scratch. And, you know, got a little bit of nitrous oxide too, which I haven't used because I don't think I really need to use it yet. Maybe someday I'll turn that on. This is really cool. Let them take you through some of this stuff, and tell you what it's all about. Well, it's a ZTEC. It's a two-liter, and last year I blew the same motor up, but the same type of motor so this spring I built this one up a lot stronger it's got uh, crawler rods it's got a new crank it's got some really giant billet mains custom-made JE pistons crawler cams I had to make the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold all the piping did that made the radiator made this this is actually a condenser for the crankcase uh, gases condenses them back into a liquid so they don't go into my intercooler core. It has a water to air intercooler core. The intercooler core is actually underneath the cowl here. It's very big. It keeps the air cool when it gets compressed. You don't want that hot charge otherwise it'll ignite before top dead center. You don't really want that. It's a loss of power then. Uh, this is a direct port nitrous oxide system. No have that too. <laughs> Everything in here is custom made one-off fab stuff that, that most people would not even catch on to at all. The whole car was cut in half lengthwise, widened out, something that most people would not even even notice because it's done so well. And uh, yeah even the it's channeled two inches too. That's why it gets this ride like it does. So to keep the entire amount of travel in the suspension I channeled it two inches so it has the same stock travel instead of just compressing the springs or getting springs that are shorter than they should be. Your best bet is the channel. So then you got a, you know, you got some travel. And then the back, it's got a 10 volt Chevy. I had to make the gas tank too. You probably saw that underneath the amplifier. Roll bar, made that. I didn't make the mirrors. Some guy in Berlin made those. They're usually on SL, SL Mercedes. They're pretty nice. I wanted something smaller, but period looking. Even the windshield, 88 Audi 5000 windshield. Oh, that's got a Modalita steering wheel, that's from England. This is usually a front wheel drive engine too, by the way. They put these in Ford Focuses from 89 to 2003. And in England, in Europe, they'll use this motor this way, transversely. So, or, yeah. So then I had to get the bell housing and the tranny to make it to drive the rear wheels instead. What do you say? You guys want to go for a spin and uh, take a little road trip? And we're going to uh, do a little play in, a little tune in, and uh, see if we can make it back without breaking down. Make it back without breaking down.
That's bad. The front airlines just blew out on it. Now it's sitting right on the ground and we're stuck. breakdown right there freaking 10 cents worth of line right there airline going to the front front airbag they uh, were up against the transmission lines and the transmission lines got hot enough to melt them so there's the problem right there easy fix anyway so we're gonna head home now and uh, try to get uh, try to get this thing back on the road again and Hopefully it won't break down next time you see it. <laughs> <laughs> Airline for the front wheel. We don't have any tail lights on. We just got it fired back up again. Alright. Did you yeah. push along or what? Uh no. John had his car pulled up right here when we were working on it. I think we're good here. Yeah. We'll go home now. Hey, I hope you guys had as fun with that test drive as we did. That was pretty interesting. A lot of fun. John Wheeler's car really kicks butt. I really love that car. He's got thousands and thousands of hours into that thing. The craftsmanship is just unbelievable. Uh, it's not done by any means yet. Still got a lot of work to do to it, but really cool. And ours here is work in progress also. So obviously we have some issues to work out with the tranny lines. We have to uh, also the, the transmission cooler where we put it. Uh, apparently with the bump stops out and, every, and uh, whatever else we did, uh, we lowered it down quite a bit more. The tranny cooler is not enough in an ideal location apparently it doesn't really move very well with it on sitting on the ground so and keep in mind this is a stock short block ls motor stock piston stock rod stock crank sitting at 10 pounds of boost on a pretty conservative tune right now our friend at cj tunes carl is just uh awesome at tuning these things in if you ever need any tuning done on these ls motors he's your guy uh, he's going to come back out again and we're going to do some more tuning, some more dialing this thing in. And uh, we should be, uh, right now we're at 10 pounds of boost. Uh, see what this thing's got at about 15 pounds of boost. And uh, still pump gas and then we might switch it over to E85 and see where it goes from there. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that as much as we did. I think that was a lot of fun. We're going to try for some more uh, adventures and... Uh, you can follow us along and hopefully you guys like it as much as we do.